Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At nandito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema niyo sa math. And for today sa video, ito na yung part 2 ng ating Division of Polynomials, yung learning task number 2. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung part 1 for learning task number 1 at yung number 1 given na guide natin, check it out first, mga anak ko, and then saka kayo pumunta dito, ha? Pero yung mga tapos na, let's have this one, pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na muna ang mga anak ko na napindot yun na ng like button. Auto-like na po, ha? At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na. Simulan na natin. Okay, x squared plus x minus 12 divided by x minus 3. Check mo na natin. Naka-arrange ba yung ating dividend into decreasing order? Ibig sabihin yung exponent niya ay from highest exponent to the lowest exponent. Okay, dahil ito ay 2, 1, and then 0 naka-arrange na. Then, i-check. Meron bang missing term? Tignan natin, we have 2, we have 1, we have 0, so wala. So, pwede na tayong mag-divide. So, we will have here x squared plus x minus 12, okay, over, over to right, divided by x minus 3. Okay, let's have the first term to first term. x squared divided by x, x squared divided by x is simply what? x. Tama kasi minus mo 2 minus 1. So, you have x. And then, multiply. Sa dalawa ha, hindi lang isa. x times x is x squared kasi 1 plus 1 na exponent is 2. And then, x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Okay? And then, that's minus. Pero dahil minus yan, we have the rule, di ba? We change the sign of the subtrahend. Or, just simply have kcck. Hindi ito change yung sign ni x squared plus x. And then, C, so, ito magiging plus na. And then, ito magiging change din. So, kung positive magiging negative, kung negative magiging positive. So, x squared plus negative x squared, 0 na lang yan. And then, x plus 3x, you have 4x. And then, bring down negative 12. And then, divide ulit. 4x divided by x. 4x divided by x. So, that's a 4. So, we have positive 4. And then, multiply ulit. So, you will have here uh, 4x and then 4 times negative 3, that's negative 12. Minus yan, di ba? So, KCC, we have to keep, change, and change. So, keep, change. Ito ngayon ay negative na. Ito ay positive na. 4x plus negative 4x, 0 na. Negative 12 plus positive 12, 0 na din. So, we have here 0. Okay, now, synthetic division tayo. Diba? We have the given x squared plus x minus 12. Sulat ko lang ha, kasi natakpan na. And then, divided by x minus 2. So, ang gagawin natin, diba, is to get the numerical coefficient. So, eto, invisible 1, you have 1. Eto rin, you have 1. And then, you have negative 12. Okay? And then, solve for x. x minus 2 equals 0. So, you will have x equals 2. So, yung special number natin dito ay 2. Okay? First thing to do is to bring down 1. 1 times 2, you have 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 times... Ah, anong nangyari dito? Ay, sorry. Hindi pala 2 yung divisor natin. Akala ko 2. 3 pala. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 3 to 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay. Change, change, change. Naduling ang teacher Maria. Okay, so we have here 3. I wait. Minus 3. Minus 3. So, ito magiging x minus 3. Kaya ito ay 3. So, we have here 3. Ayan. So, let's have this one. Ninawan ng mata ha? Okay. We have here now, bring down 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Negative 12 
times uh, plus 12 is a 0. So, ito din ay x plus 4. Kapareho nito. Oh. X plus 4, x plus 4. Pareho sila. Okay? So, your final answer para sa letter B natin na side. So, we have P of x over D of x is equal to ano ang D of x natin? That's x minus 3 times yung quotient natin na x plus 4. Dahil wala naman tayong uh, remainder, okay na to. Ayan na. Sinama ko na yung B dito para hindi ko na i-discuss ng solo. Okay, number 3, we have x raised to 3, 4x squared, plus 5x plus 2, and then we have their x plus 1. Okay, check natin. Ayos ba yung arrangement? We have 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, wala rin kulang. So, pwede na tayong mag-divide. We have here x raised to 3 plus 4x squared plus 5x plus 2. Okay, divided by x plus 1. Okay, x raised to 3 divided by x. So, 3 minus 1 is a squared. x is squared and then multiply. x squared times x. Okay, tama. x raised to 3. x squared times 1 plus x squared. Correct. Okay, and then we do the KCC. Uh, this is minus, keep, change, change. So, plus na to, ito negative, ito negative na. So, cancel to kasi 0 na siya. And then, 4x squared plus negative x squared, that's 3x squared, correct. And then, bring down 5x, so plus 5x. Now, 3x squared divided by x, so that is positive 3x na lang kasi 2 minus 1. And then, multiply... 3x times x, you have 3x squared. 3x times 1, that is 3x. And then, minus, okay? Dahil kailangan na naman natin mag-KCC. Keep change. Ito, positive, magiging negative. And then, tong positive, magiging negative din. Okay? So, this is cancel. 0 lang siya. And then, 5 plus negative 3, that's 2x. Okay? Plus 2, bring down. Okay, 2x divided by x, syempre, 2 na lang siya kasi x and x cancel lang siya. 2 times x, you have 2x. 2 times 1, you have 2. Okay, so this is negative, di ba? So, kailangan mag-KCC ulit. Keep change and change. So, positive, magiging negative, magiging negative. Okay, so 2 plus negative 2 is 0. 2 plus negative 2 is 0 also. Then, 0 na siya. Okay, now let's have yung synthetic division. Okay, ano-ano ang mga value natin? 1, 4, 5, and 2. Okay, and then x plus 1 equals 0. x is equal to negative 1. So, yung number natin dito ay negative 1. Ito yun ha, yung x plus 1 para lang malaman natin. Okay, and then this is plus, bring down 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Okay, 4 plus negative 1 is 3. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Tama, 5 plus negative 3 is 2. 2 plus negative 1 Ano, 2 times negative 1. Times may sinabi ko kanina ulit. 1, bring down 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 4 plus negative 1 is 3. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 5 plus negative 3 is 2. 2 times negative 2, ah, negative 1 is negative 2. And then, 2 plus negative 2, that's 0. Okay, pag yung pababa plus ang operation, ha? Pero pag yun dito, multiplication yan. Okay? Multiplication yan. Multiplication. Okay, so we will have here x squared plus 3x plus 2. O, pareho tayo sa long division. Ibig sabihin, tama yung answer natin. Kasi yung ating quotient, ay yung remainder, pareho din naman. Okay, so we will have here p of x over d of x is equal to anong d of x natin? x plus 1. Ang quotient natin ay x squared plus 3x plus 2. O, yan na yan ha. Kasi wala naman tayong remainder. Okay. Now, let's go to the fourth one. O, ito may problema tayo dito. 2x cubed minus 25x minus 45 plus 4x squared. 
Kung i-check ninyo, hindi siya naka-arrange. Okay, kasi yung cube nandito, yung 1 nandito, yung 2 nandito. So, i-arrange muna natin sila. 2x raised to 3 plus 4x squared minus 25x minus 45. Okay? And then, i-check nyo. May missing ba? 3, 2, 1, 0. So, walang missing. Kaya, pwede na natin silang i-divide. So, we have your x plus 5. Okay? So, we have your 2x cubed divided by x. So, that's 2 x raised to 2 ha. Kasi 3 minus 1 lang yan. Yung 2 will remain. And then, multiply. 2 times 2x. Uh, 2x squared times x. That, that is 2x raised to 3. And then, 2x squared times 5. That is 2 times 5 is 10 x squared. Okay? And then, we minus. Pero, kailangan gawin si KCC. KCC keep change. Change. And then, change din to. So, ito 0 na lang yan, ha? Sana nakukuha niyo yung pattern dito. So, 4 plus negative 10, that is negative 6x squared. Okay, bring down negative 25x. Okay? And then, 6x squared divided by x, negative 6x squared divided by x, that's negative 6x. Okay, negative 6x times x, that is negative 6x squared. And then, negative 6 times 5, that is negative 30x. Okay, and this is minus. And then, we do again KCC, keep, change, and change. So, positive na to, positive na to, positive na to. 0 na to, eto, negative 25 plus 30, that's a 5x minus 45. Okay, and then, 5x divided by x, that is positive 5. 5 times x is 5x. And then, 5 times 5, that's 25. So, plus 25. Okay, this is minus. So, we do KCC, KCC, keep, change, and then change, and then change. 0 na to, and this is 10 carry 1, negative 70. So, dito may remainder tayo, ha? Negative 70. Let's do naman yung synthetic division. So, we have 2... 4, negative 25, negative 45. Mga anak, yung arrange na ha, dapat yung naka-arrange na. Ito yung 2, 4, negative 25, negative 45. Kasi yung nasa given, hindi pa siya naka-arrange. And then, x plus 5 equals to 0. So, x is equal to negative 5. So, we have there negative 5. Okay? So, bring down 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. 4 plus negative 10 is negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 5 is positive 30. And then negative 25 plus positive 30, that's a 5. And then 5 times negative 25, ayan, that's negative, ah, 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. Na-advance ko yung sagot. And then, add to 10 carry 1. So, we have negative 70. So, obviously, this is, 2x squared. Okay, laging minus 1 doon sa ating uh, dividend ha. Kung ang dividend natin ay x raised to 3, dapat yung final answer mo mag-start with x raised to 2. Minus 6x plus 5. Okay? And then, minus 70 over x plus 5. Yan yung quotient natin. Pero, dapat yung form natin sa letter B yung gawin natin. P of x over D of x, that is equal to... Aha, anong d of x natin? x plus 5, okay, times 2x squared minus 6x plus 5, okay, minus, kasi nakalagay sa, ano, plus yun, di ba? Eto, negative to. 70 over x plus 5. Okay, so, eto na yun. Kasi plus r tayo, di ba? Pero dahil negative yung r natin, minus siya. Okay, and then, let's have number 5. O, last one na to. 